What do you mean? Subway at 3 a.m.? Boy, you ain't heard of Uber Eats? Hello? <laughs> Get you some Uber Eats, nigga. What the hell is you doing out here in these streets reckless? You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
this just started two years ago when Trump got in office. Mm-hmm. No, that's not what I'm saying. I feel you. But I would be remiss if I did not mm-hmm. shed light on the fact that I. Think I like it when people be remiss. I know. Ain't that just an like awesome word? It is. It's dope. I would be remiss. I would be remiss. Hey, that make you be like, hmm? I don't. <laughs> you get perked up. What you about to say? <laughs> right. You be remiss. Hold on. Hmm. Are you? <laughs> when people be like, then I digress. I'm like, okay. But let me tell you. Do you no. digress? <laughs> let me tell you, mm. Hold on. People use digress wrong. Yeah, a lot of people they do. do. Yeah. Because they use digress like, I digress meaning I'm going to now stop talking about the subject. Right. Digress doesn't mean that. Tell digress us. means Let us to know. change the subject. To change it. Yeah, so when you say I yeah. digress, that mean you, got something you are to supposed say. to go into a different topic. A whole different topic. People say, well, but I digress. And then, <laughs> and then they shut up. They should but say. That's, not, that's not what digression is. Digression it, is. So they should say, but let me shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. That's what you should say. Let me be quiet. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I just shut the hell up now. Right. Um, yeah. Di- to digress is to change the subject. People use it wrong. Yeah. It's fine. Then I digress. Yeah. This so are we changing? Ch- I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Good but yeah, I do think that, um, mm-hmm. you know, Trump has um, opened the floodgates for people to say, well, I'm just going to do whatever the hell I was thinking inside. I don't, I'm just going to do it on the outside now. Mm. And I think to some degree, there was a certain level of reservation about that. Uh, but t- I think, you know, at some point over the past, you know, six to eight years, you know, people had gone into like a reservation about some of the stuff that they were going to do. I think now mm-hmm. it just kind of like took us all the way back, 10 years back to where like people are just like, it's the same thing with Bush too, I feel like, you know, right. so. The, the, the difference with Bush is that, you know, he didn't put stuff out there like that. Right. What you saying? Okay, so I watch. You know, Killer Mike got the show on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Trigger Warning. Have you watched I any? Seen it now. Okay, so I just started watching it last night. Mm-hmm. So he has a episode where he wanted to make a big music group, right, with people who have strong opinions on stuff. Okay. You know, political conscious music. Yeah, conscious music, mm-hmm. but people with strong opinions. Mm-hmm. So he had like a redneck on there. Mm-hmm. He had a um a redneck who is a Descendant of Robert E. Lee. Okay. Mm-hmm. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Who feels like the wrong side lost. He said that. Tell the people who Robert E. Lee is. Okay. So Robert E. Lee is a Confederate general during the Civil War. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um um in uh his he's monumented on the uh, in Stone Mountain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all see how smart John is? Message. <laughs> All right. So um then he had a um, devil worship, a Satanist. Oh, God. He had a, a Jewish, like a real Jewish person, mm-hmm. a serious Christian person. Mm-hmm. And um, this is a music group? Yeah. And they were talented. They were like musicians. Okay, okay, okay. Right? So he did like an American Idol type thing and, you know, did a casting. Mm-hmm. And everybody who whose opinion was not strong, he mm-hmm. cut them. He wanted, just, he wanted to make a song with people with strong. Right. Emotion, strong feelings right. about things. So, charged people who could get emotionally charged mm-hmm. about them. Okay. Right. So the the racist white dude, he didn't come off racist, but he was he was a white nationalist, right? Mm-hmm. And some of them people had real strong feelings about that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying about white nationalism, right. about what they think Trump stands for. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he, I will give him that credit, has unearth those people to make them feel like man you know hey it's it's okay to be like this but i think from the beginning of the time it's okay to be like what it's okay for him to voice his opinion okay. no matter how negative it might be okay so he's still creating the superiority the superiority complex amongst you know ethnic groups yeah, and that bigot. is yeah he's that mm-hmm. so yeah but yeah, shout out to Jesse Smollett. We're very, you know, sorry that happened and, you know, just want to send some love and some compassion your way because, you know, it's it's a bit um, stomach turning to 
know that in 2019 this is still what's happening to people because of their freedom Mm -hmm. to live their life the way they want to and to me that's just the sad part of it that you are telling me that I cannot live my life the way I want to live it yeah you don't pay my fucking bills at all you don't do shit for me but you bothered by what I do in my living room in my bedroom any damn where okay what is it crazy is you crazy (laughs) yeah yeah but next time, nigga, keep that thing on you. You know what I'm that saying? Too. <laughs> stay scrapped. That too. Stay scrapped. Please stay scrapped. He doesn't strike me as a guy who would be strapped. But if you out here and you on one of the hottest shows on TV. But that's why I want to know why what neighborhood. You by yourself, bro. See what neighborhood he was in. I'm just like, was he like? It, where was he? Was this man in Congress? No, right. <laughs> like, what in the world? Like. Not that he, he doesn't live in Atlanta, but... <laughs> what Don Lemon had to say. What he always world? got something to say. Uh, where was he? Chicago. Chicago. Mm-hmm. So he was in Shy. Nigga, you was in the Shy. Shy rat? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't scrapped? Strapped? <laughs> you ain't scrapped, nigga? Yeah. Like, I feel sorry for you, bro, but you better stay scrapped, bro. You got to be better prepared than this. What do you mean? Subway at 3 a.m.? Boy, you ain't heard of Uber Eats? Hello? (laughs) Get you some Uber Eats, nigga. What you doing out here in these streets reckless? You know what I'm saying? We're not shaming the victim. I'm not shaming the victim, bro. I feel like anytime you say anything about a victim, it goes there. That's not what we're saying, but what we're saying is like... Bruh. Bruh. (laughs) <laughs> That's all we said. <laughs>